everyone. And in this today's video, I'm going to show you and take you on a step by step how you can create your Windows 11 USB boot drive unofficially and with a different a little trick for those people that they want to install Windows 11 into a, a laptop that is a little bit old and it doesn't have a TPM uh, security which Windows 11 requires people to have in order to be able to install it. I'm going to take you on a step by step how to do this. It's free and it's 100% safe and you can do it. You can install it on any laptop that doesn't support Windows 11 quote unquote because you don't have a TPM. All right. First thing first, you need a USB thumb drive. A 16 gigabyte, they say 8 gig, but I would recommend you get a 16 gig. In this case, I have a 32 gig Kingston USB and I just format it. If you do format or not, it doesn't make any difference. Mine is 32 gig. I show 28. Doesn't matter what format you put on FAT or NTFS, doesn't matter, just format it. Click OK. And but make sure that you you back up all the files that you have inside the USB because you're gonna lose everything that you had in there. Alright, once you have the USB drive, you want to head over to your browser, whichever browser you want to use, Chrome, Microsoft Edge, whichever. So we're gonna open Edge and we're going to go to google.com. In here, we're going to type Windows 11 ISO. Windows 11 ISO. And then make sure you go to the first link that says Microsoft.com. Don't go to any other shady site. Mine is in Spanish. Just go to there. It says download Windows 11. Click on that. In the URL, I'm going to change that to EN so it shows on English you, if you are in an English country or if yours is in different language just change the URL to EN and it will show so this is the official link microsoft.com slash EN dot GB global slash software download Windows 11 once you're in here you want to go down towards the mat and you want to see this create Windows 11 installation media and you just simply want to click download and it's going to download and it's going to place it on your download folder. You can just click on the folder icon right here. I already downloaded before, so it downloaded and renamed it. So I'm going to delete the new one. So this is going to be the one that you have. So simply from here, you're just going to double click this, click yes. And in here, it's going to take a little time. It's going to get a few things ready, as it says. All right, you're going to get a user license terms Go all the way down, click accept. You can take your time reading if you want to. Again, you're going to wait a few seconds. All right, now here it says select language and edition. You're going to uncheck recommended option and choose the language that you want and obviously Windows 11. And then you want to click next. Now, here's the important part. He says, create the Windows directly to your USB flash drive or create an ISO file. In this case, if you create a USB flash drive, your laptop has to have a TPM, otherwise it will not install. But we're going to choose the second option, create an ISO file. ISO is just an image of the Windows 11 image file. All right, so we're going to click next. And it's going to ask you where you want to save it. And you're going to save it in a downloads folder. Just name Windows or Windows 11, whichever name you want to give to, or just leave it the way it is. Click Save. Now it's just going to get this stuff, things ready, and it's going to start downloading. After the process is done, you're going to see inside the download folder right here a forked gigabyte uh, ISO file. So I'm just going to fast forward this part. Once it's finished, I'll let you guys know. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. One eternity later. Finished downloading. Now it's creating the Windows 11 media. So it's just uh, creating the ISO and it's going to show in a few seconds, a few minutes, depending on your computer. On the download that you saved it. Now that the process 
test is burn the ISO to your DVD drive. Obviously, we don't even use DVD drive anymore. It says where it's located, download ISO or open DVD burner. Now we're gonna click finished. And right here we have the ISO 4.8 gig ISO file. Now we need to burn this one into the USB drive, right? But we wanna burn it the way that we don't have the, the TPM security in it. So we're gonna back to a browser and we're gonna search for, we're gonna go to this website, it's called Rufus, right there, Rufus.ie. And you're gonna click enter. And down here, you wanna go down, it says, uh, you're gonna look for the port, all this advertisement, portable. You're gonna click the portable one right in here, not the standard, just the portable one. Down click that one, and click close. And it should download in the download folder, just open it. And we're gonna close the internet. There we go. Just gonna refresh the here. So we should have Rofus right here, and we have the ISO file right in here. So we're gonna right click on Rofus and we're gonna run as an admin. You're gonna click yes. And I said, Do you want to follow Rofus with your application update? No. Now we have the Rufus open, it's the portable version. You don't have to install it. You're gonna auto detect the USB. Drive. If you have few, just detect the correct one that you're going to format. And in here, you're not going to touch anything in the boot section. Just going to click select. Go down to a download folder wherever you download the Windows ISO. Click open. Highlight it. And then click open. And then it's going to change over or like this. And down here, we're going to leave the way everything it is. We're going to see that it says target system UEFI. But some old laptop, they don't have UEFI. They have a different uh startup and we're gonna click on your keyboard you're gonna press alt e and on the bottom here it says using image when you press alt e it says dual bios uefi bios mode and in here you're gonna see it says change to bios or uefi so we're gonna leave it like this and then we're gonna click create once you click create it's gonna bring you these options it's gonna say Remove the requirement for 4 gig because Windows 11, if it, you don't have a 4 gig at least, it will not install. So you want to click this one, check this box, and the security TPM, and it's going to bypass those security things, those requirements pretty much. And remove requirement for online Microsoft accounts. So if you want to configure your Windows without, an, uh, win, without connecting to an internet or putting your Microsoft account, click this one. If you want to give a name for your user, just give a name. For in this case, we're going to put user. But if you don't want to, you, you can just uncheck this. And during installation, it's going to ask you manually to put it. All right. Then you can put the set original options, same as a this user. If your computer is yours and you like the value and the date and everything on it, you can click set as this one. And also you can click disable data collection. And that's really good so you don't have privacy and also disable BitLocker. You don't need an encryption for your hard drive because it's a long number. Most people, my clients come in and they lose that number, so it's useless. Just disable this one and then click OK. And it's gonna say say that this you want to format it, so it's gonna format your USB drive. You wanna click yes. Warning all the data on the USB drive will be destroyed. Sure, okay. Now it's deleting the partition and it's formatting and it's going to create the Windows 11 USB boot drive. Once it's created, you can just power down the computer and power it back on and press F12, depending which laptop you're using, usually it's F12. And then you want to choose your USB boot drive and follow the simple instruction. Also, I will leave a link to how to properly follow the step by step instruction instructions inside the windows usb boot drive i'll leave that link in the video description in case you want to know but it's really is simple to follow is you can't go wrong with it all right we're just going to let this one finish and once it's to 100 percent it should give me a green icon All right, now that it's done, it will show you just like this, ready. Once it's finished, do not click start again. Just click close. 
and you're pretty much all set. If you go to my computer, this computer, you want to see a USB, change the name, and you have the Windows installation, everything in here. You can either double click the setup and follow the instruction through your Windows or power down the computer, boot up through your USB drive and follow the instruction for the installation. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to create your own Windows 11 USB boot drive for non-compatible TPM model laptops or PCs. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.